So over the last couple of days, we've had a research, an international research methodology workshop. We had 160 applicants, and of those, 50 people were offered a place on the, um, this research methodology course um, in order for them to really increase the amount of research that's been un undertaken in Nepal. We are part of a Global Challenges Research uh, Foundation grant, um, and what we're doing is we're doing a research project where we're looking to develop sustainable prevention of foot ulcers for people with diabetic and leprotic uh, neuropathy. So the first part um, of the project really is understanding foot ulcerations, the prevalence, the problems, the management in Nepal, and really there we're teaching people about research methods, about how to do research really with the aim of increasing research capacity within Nepal. I was expecting to learn about uh, from the very beginning of a research, from formulating research questions and how to make research proposals and protocols, systems about data collection, choosing our subjects. And uh, the best thing was uh, I got to learn from people who have done so much of research on different topics. The participants have been really engaged in the, um, in the sessions, which suggest to us that some of the ideas that, that we're trying to convey have been really taken on board. And I hope they go away with the fact that they need to seek advice and to work in teams to effectively undertake research and that research is possible within Nepal uh, so that they can make a real change to people's lives. Yeah, it was um, quite a busy uh, weekend, but uh, it was uh, worthwhile. The one thing, if I have to point out, would be the um, ease uh, I feel now towards doing research. We see a lot of patients in our hospital, and, um, but uh, we don't keep that much uh, records. I felt like to do a research while working in a hospital, it's quite a tedious job. But now I think if I just print out a questionnaire and keep it right there and fill, it, fill up every time I see a patient, then I think we would not lose data. Because we don't have that many publications from our own. Most of our treatment is based on the data from abroad. So I feel more confident uh, in that. So that's, uh, I think it's quite big achievement. Yeah, the audience seemed very interested and this was the first time I think uh, that we are organizing such kind of workshop, you know, in more depth, taking from uh, designing a resource, developing a resource question to, you know, randomized control trial, uh, to doing an interview uh, and in managing projects. So we covered uh, uh, most of the aspects of uh, clinical research. Um, with diabetes and leprosy, it predisposes to having ulceration. Uh, and ulceration in turn can lead to decreased quality of life, you can't work well because you can't walk on the ulcer, it's painful, you can fall a lot, ultimately your foot can get amputated. So the, the health consequences of ulceration are, are huge. So we want to try and prevent them and one important thing is to relieve the pressure and reduce the pressure on the, on the, on the foot. And the way you can do that is with appropriate footwear and appropriate insoles and orthotics. Routinely, people with diabetes are provided with insoles and footwear to protect their feet from foot ulceration, um, either through uh, providing protection from trauma, so standing on sharp objects or objects they don't know are there, or, or by um, reducing the loads under the feet when people walk around. That preventative uh, element of diabetic foot care isn't available currently in Nepal. In Nepal, uh, often many people can't afford the right shoes, can't afford shoes. So we're looking into working in this first stage about finding out where the ulcers are, but also importantly working with people with diabetes leprosy to find out what they would like in a shoe because it's no point in producing a shoe that is, uh, serves the purpose but not doesn't serve the cosmesis, doesn't look good, doesn't serve the functionality of the person, they won't wear it. So what we're really looking for is a shoe that can be 
for some people customized if they've got a deformed foot, but for others it might be more of a off the shelf mass produced type shoe, but it's affordable and it will accommodate the foot, relieve pressure and therefore decrease uh, foot alteration. So the ultimate output will be we are preventing foot ulceration uh, in the pole. Thank you.